Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This just in, today, Niantic launched the Jirachi Quest called A Thousand Year Slumber into the game, which means after months of waiting for our turn to get Jirachi is finally here. If you went to either GoFest in Chicago, Dormont, or Yokohama, and you complete it, you will be rewarded additional candies. In other Pokemon news, in addition to the Ultra Unlock bonuses that I mentioned in the last video, it turns out that the Kanto Regionals can be hatched like last year. But this time it's confirmed we are getting shiny variants of these very Pokemon in Week 2 from 7k eggs along with the return of Mewtwo as a raid boss which will have a special move and a shiny variant is also confirmed. I also forgot to mention that shiny Sentret and Gliger are also confirmed for week one of the bonuses along with unknown hatching from 10k eggs. And last but not least, Unova Pokemon are also confirmed for, for this first wave with shinies for Clink. Pat Rat and Lillipup. Clink will be a raid boss, but we don't know what level it will appear as as of this recording. The Johto Beasts will also be coming back as level 5 raid bosses. And even all forms of Deoxys are now coming out as level 5 raid bosses. One more thing, episode 42 of my Pokemon Go Play series will be coming out this week. Production of episode 4 of the Harry Potter Wizards Unite series about the Back to Hogwarts event will also be coming. Post-production of episode 43 of my Pokemon Go play series will also begin. Then episode 44 will be about part one of the search for Jirachi. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!